We are also learning more about the deadly Chiefs Parade Day shooting. Three Kansas City men are now charged with trafficking guns. Federal investigators unsealed court documents today, and they believe 12 people pulled out guns at the rally and that at least six people fired their weapons. Fado Manning is charged with selling guns without a license and conspiracy to traffic firearms. Ronnell Williams and Shellen Groves are also facing multiple charges. KNBC 9's Ryan Johnson has the latest on this investigation. They are not charged with using any weapons at the rally, but federal documents say 22-year-old Fedo Antonia Manning bought the AM-15 at Frontier Justice in Lee's Summit in August of 2022. It's one of more than 40 firearms federal investigators say Manning purchased, 33 of which were the assault-style Anderson Manufacturing AM-15. Uh, this arrest, there's going to be intelligence gathered about more people, more places. You know, they're, they're not done. Officials allege that 21-year-old Ronnell Dwayne Williams bought a Stag Arms 300, an assault style weapon at the KCI Expo Center in November 2023. Williams allegedly purchased the firearm for 19-year-old Shaylin Hendrick Groves. All in all, a pretty good police work that from the time of the shooting till now, they uncovered a gun smuggling ring. The gun recovered from the Union Station mass shooting is one of seven purchased by Manning that were recovered during investigations of crimes in KCK, KC Mo, and a murder in Columbia, Missouri. The ATF's special agent in charge in Kansas City says the proliferation of illegal guns represents a grave danger to the public. There's very little hope that we're going to control uh, weapons and access to weapons, and we're going to continue to see uh, these mass shootings. In Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. And the next hearing is March 18th at 9 a.m.